Bears on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. You've got it. Coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. You got it. All right, I'm glad Gerald wants to get into financials. I want to do that first, then Ukraine, then a special report by Leanne McAdoo that I've been saving so Gerald can hear it and give us his take. Because it ties in everything he talks about, his philosophy that's absolute veritas, absolute renaissance. But this just broke at Infowars.com right now and PrisonPlanet.com, our mirror backup site. J.P. Morgan executive becomes fifth banker to die in last two weeks. Now, by the way, that's top bankers. I was doing some math last week on this searching. I found like 20 bankers in the EU, England, and the U.S. that are very mysteriously falling into the water, being found dead in parking lots, uh, shooting themselves in the heads, jumping off high rises. Some fear spat of deaths or spate of deaths linked to imminent financial crisis. This is very suspicious because these are all like super high level, but still comp trollers above the highest level. Looks to me like they're getting rid of where the bodies are buried uh, ahead of something. And of course, the, the criminal investigations of J.P. Morgan and the, the fines they and others have been paying their chicken feed. Uh, Gerald, you've always got your ear to the ground. You're a big consultant to Washington Chemical Companies, you name it. I know you've been following this. How does this tie into everything? What does your nose tell you is going on here? 
Well, when you look at the real numbers, you've had just in January, you had an outflow of probably about 12 you know, billion dollars uh, uh, out of the, or much more, out of the um, uh, emerging markets. I mean, tens of, probably a trillion. Yeah, that's what's happening in Turkey, all over the place. Yeah, as a matter of fact, in Kazakhstan yesterday, they just devalued the currency by 20%. And you don't have to be a trend forecaster or a mathematician or an economist to figure this Quantify out. Quantify that. There's a race to devalue worldwide. Yeah, what happens is that all of the tape, all of the stimulus pushed a lot of hot money into these emerging markets. It's called a carry trade. You borrow it real cheap, you bring it to a, another place where you're going to get a lot more for it. It's as simple as that. Now, with the tapering, that money's flowing out. But when the money flowed in, it built the economies of places like Turkey, like Brazil, like uh, South Africa. It kept pumping up all India. So now, as the money flows out, what they're trying to do, because their, their currencies are crashing, is they're raising interest rates to protect their currency. Brilliant. Now, let me get this straight. Your economy's going down. You, it's getting worse. Your currency is being devalued. And to save that currency, now you're going to raise interest rates to make it even more expensive to borrow. Brilliant. That'll really help the economy go way down because that's what's happening. So now, as I mentioned, they're either devaluing or raising their interest rates. The net result is the same. Recessions turn into depressions. Now, going back to the biggest story, we, we just saw the dog and pony show yesterday on, I got a, you can't call her Fed chairwoman, she doesn't like that, Fed chair yelling at, at the, the House meeting. That's good, say it how, you, how she says to do it or you're bad, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, well, we'd call it an Italian, faccia brut, but we won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I could call you that. But anyway, the, she went on, let me set the scene. The markets are crashing a week and a half ago, all over. The Dow, the, 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 all over the world, the, the Asian markets, the DAX in Europe, all of them are going way, way down every day, every day, every day. Everyone's waiting for Friday. Now, this is a fact. Everyone was waiting for Friday to see what the job numbers would be. So the job numbers come out. The consensus on Wall Street, we're going to have 189,000 new jobs. And they got this guy over there, this shill that they're always quoting in all the newspapers everywhere, this Mark Zandi. He was up to 170,000. He comes in, the numbers come in, there are 113,000. The estimate on the streets, 189,000. Zandi said, when the September, December numbers came out at 74,000, yeah, and anybody could look it up. It's gone. It's, you could Google it up and on uh, CNBC back in December. Numbers come back. Oh, I, these numbers. No, no, they're wrong. They're wrong. They're going to be readjusted. I, I pay no attention. They ask them, how much is the December number going to be pushed up? Oh, 200 k Okay, 200,000. So now, remember, going back to last Friday, now they readjust the December numbers. December numbers come out, they readjust them. It went from 74,000 to 75,000. Now, you look at the market, boom! When the numbers came out at 8.30, the, the, uh, the expectations were for the market, the pre-market opening to be down. The market opens up, and on the good news of lousy job numbers, the market pumps up and follows through a little bit on Monday. And then Yellen comes out, Yellen bloody murder. And she says that they're going to keep doing the tapering. But if things get bad, there'll be some quantitative easing. The markets shoot up more. On what? Not on the fundamentals, because here's the big lie, or I should say cover up, that the Fed chair said. She makes a point of saying how great 
the drop, the number dropped from the high unemployment rate of over 10 percent down now to approaching 6.5. What she failed to acknowledge in all of this BS that no one called her out on was, hey, Miss uh, Fed Chair, the reason the number went so low is because of all those people that what they do now in the USSA is once you're unemployed, once you're no longer getting benefits, once you can't find a job, you're not counted as unemployed anymore. That's why the number went down. So now, today, the markets are down, what, about 30 points as we're speaking, 36 points. There's nothing to drive the markets up. There's only pressure to drive them down. Now let's look at gold. Since the beginning of the year, gold has been steadily increasing all of the time, and now it's approaching the 1300 mark. Now, I want to make this clear. You made it real clear when you said the markets were rigged. And um, what I'm leading up to is that we know the Forex market is rigged. That's the market which trades currencies. I'm not making it up. It's a fact. At the point of, by the way, they're trading each day $5.3 trillion. Well, look at LIBOR. It just goes on and on. LIBOR now. Here's some of that guy, Jim Cramer, that's always on CNBC. This was reported on Yahoo yesterday. Here's the headline so everyone knows that I'm not making it up. Jim Cramer. Yes, the market is rigged. Yes, the market is rigged. There's no doubt about it. So when I say gold is going up and the market is rigged, it is not in the best interests of the central banks that are pumping out this cheap dough to see gold prices go up. At the same time, if you go to uh, People's Daily yesterday out of China, the report is that gold consumption in China from 2012 to 2013 increased 41%. So the rig market, the paper market that the Goldman Sachs gang, the Merrill Lynch mob, the Deutsche Bank bandits keep rigging, that's very different from the real gold. And it shows the false reality. We talked about this years ago, how they use naked shorts, all of it. They won't give Germany their gold. They trade gold in the market. They don't have India, China. They're all buying at record levels. You can't buy physical gold for what they claim spot is. The mints are running out. And meanwhile, I get emails and see comments going, thought gold was a good investment. Well, I told people buy it at 270 and it went up to almost 2000 and, you know, at 1200, 1300, whatever. I haven't sold one gold coin I bought, one silver coin I bought because I know it's all a fraud. And, and, and regardless, it's my emergency backup. But the issue is it is rigged on every front. And when gold shot up, as you know, a few weeks ago, Gerald, suddenly the dollar started going down. But it's the seesaw, but it can't go on it can't go on forever, uh, and so it's just so frustrating to watch him do this. Again, this is Jim Cramer. This is a guy that's on CNBC, you know, weekdays, every night, and on their shows, saying that market is rigged. Well, it's like people saying to you, Gerald, nothing ever collapsed, you were wrong, when by every real metric they're rigging all the jobless numbers, the unemployment numbers. We're in a depression in most sectors of the economy. It's worldwide. They got like 30, 40, 50 percent unemployment in, in, in areas of Europe. I mean, they're doing 100 percent taxes in, in France to pay the bills. The world is going over the edge. There's riots worldwide, food riots, inflation worldwide. And they're going, no, none of that's happening. There was no collapse. Well, we're just like collapsing down to different levels and different strata towards the bottom, but undoubtedly it's happening. And then people say, Alex, where's the martial law? Well, naked body scanners, checkpoints, NSA spying, uh, arresting people that demonstrate, Obama saying he's above the law, he's good at killing people, no bid contracts, funding Al Qaeda. I mean, we are in a fascist system by degree and people keep saying, well, nobody's kicked my door down. No, they just uh, made you go from 40 hours to 30 hours under Obamacare and you're going bankrupt. I mean, they just don't get it. 
that, that we're trying to hold back the takeover and we've been somewhat successful.